Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. And in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of... Um, I'm not even sure what to call it. Just add a little bit to my platformer example, the perfect platformer, in... Um, to make things a little bit smoother, some of you have asked me how to make it more of a gradual movement and also how to make it so you can control the jump height. So I'm going to do those two things in this video. Um, for those of you who are anticipating my book, I'm still working on it and writing on it, so uh, look out for that. Although you guys should know that... Um, my wife is due next week, so if I don't upload any videos next week, then you will know why. So, um, let's jump right into this and go into... So, you'll need to have done the perfect platformer tutorial already or have access to that code, which you can actually download it from my Patreon page if you haven't done that yet. So, first come into our object player and go into the create event, and we're going to add in... A variable well, let's see this one um, may or may not already have certain aspects of it oops that's not good oh well we'll just go with it just pretend like you didn't see all this stuff, okay? Just pretend. And uh, let me take out the... Uh... Oh, this doesn't have the controlled jumping. Um... Yeah, I must have accidentally saved my updated code over onto my perfect platformer code. So it, it had some of the code from this tutorial. Because usually what I'll do is I will... Uh, Um, I'll do the entire tutorial in code before I actually do it on camera. Negative speed is what I meant to do. Okay, so now that I've um, reverted everything back to what you guys should have, we can start actually programming it. I'm going to make sure things are working how they should here. So we're all together on the same page. Okay, great. So we've got the basic platformer uh, movement, but this, the, the movement is really snappy, which isn't exactly a bad thing. It's just let's learn how we can make it um, a little bit less snappy. So come in here, create a new variable. We're going to call this just frick, which stands for friction. I'm going to set it to 1. And then come into the step event, and we're going to um, come to... Okay, so first, let's control the jump height. So you see where we're checking if place meeting y plus 1. That means, um, are we on the ground? Yes, we're on the ground. Well, for the, for the control jump, you want to check when you're in the air. So come into this else. Right after we um, set the gravity, we're going to do another check. This is going to be if keyboard check released VK up so if they release the up key and V speed is less than negative 4 and their V speed is less than negative 4 which basically means they're going up still and so they're on the upward motion still and um, they're not like almost stopped yet. They're still going up pretty quickly. Negative four pixels per second or per step. Um, then we're going to set V speed to negative four. Speed equals negative four. Wow, I cannot type today. And I don't want to forget that right there. So that looks pretty good. Um, that should add in the control jump and let's just double check it and make sure that we can now control the jump height to give our 
uh, give our player um, a little bit more control because that's important when you're designing a game. You want to make sure the character feels like they're in control of the game and how things work. So V speed unknown. Oh, <laughs> I always type that variable in wrong every single time. The P goes after the S in vSpeed. So that's a common mistake that a lot of you have made as well. And it's an easy mistake to make. So if you get an error message, check your vSpeed variables. Because <laughs> that's very easy for them. So now... Hmm. Let's go back and make sure I've got everything right. V speed <laughs> oh, is less than negative four. V, okay, see, I typed it wrong again. V speed equals negative four. Okay, there we go. Let's close out of this, run it one more time. Yeah, I really, I really can't type today. I'm having a hard time typing. So if it's not working, Double check and make sure you typed V speed incorrectly or correctly, I mean. Okay, so yeah, I can jump. I can just barely jump if I want or I can hold it and jump longer. But if I let off early, the character will do more of a controlled jump and jump a specific height. That looks pretty good too. It looks pretty smooth. So let's do the controlled movement. So come into the step event again. And instead of just, um, uh, let's Okay, come to moving right. If our key h speed equals speed, we're going to change this to if our key <coughs> if h speed is less than speed h speed plus equals friction. Frick. Else H speed equals speed. What this does is it says if we're if our horizontal speed is less than our maximum speed, then add um, the friction amount to our speed. So basically add one to our speed. But if we're not less than it, then just set it to our speed so that we can't ever go faster than the speed that we want it to be at. We're going to do a similar thing for the left key. If H speed is greater than speed, H speed minus equals frick. Else H speed equals negative speed. If H speed is greater than negative speed, I think. Yeah. And then we're going to do one more thing, and this is check if we're not moving. And this is going to be the most complicated. So inside of here, just take out the H speed equals zero and replace it with if H speed does not equal zero. those two brackets if h speed is less than zero else okay we're gonna put some code inside of these two h speed plus equals friction h speed minus equals friction. Basically what this says is if you're if if you are moving and your horizontal speed is um positive is uh negative then um slowly move it back to a positive. So basically make it zero but slower and not all at once. And then this is if you're moving the other way, then make it zero in a negative direction, not all at once. So it's not too complicated. Um, this shows 
all of the code for the movement. If you need to pause here and copy this down with the moving right, moving left, and check for stop, um, it's not too complicated. Let's go make sure I typed everything in right and run the game. But this will add a lot more of a smooth feel to um, moving left and right. And if you were to make the friction even lower, then it would give you kind of like a Mario on ice type feel. So you can see it gradually increases and gradually kind of stops. Um, I don't know how well you can see with the frame rate, but um, you can't stop exactly. See, I move let off and my character kind of slides a little bit. If you were to change the friction amount, currently it's at one. If I were to set this friction to, uh, let's say 0.25, which is a fourth of what it was at before, um, it would feel a lot more laggy and kind of like the character was on ice uh, instead of, you know, in kind of the real world. It'd feel kind of like they were on ice. I can show you here. You can see it lags way behind. But your collisions with walls should still work and be snappy. Um, yeah, but oh, see, I didn't stop in time because I let off and my character slid off the edge. So that's kind of how you can make that a lot more smooth. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure and like, favorite, sub subscribe. Uh, check out my Facebook page and my Twitter page if you want. I'm generally more active on Facebook than I am on Twitter. So, But I really appreciate you guys, and hopefully this video helped you. And I will talk to you guys later.